All right, and welcome back to Lords of Shadow. Uh, so, now that we've had a couple of weeks to let that first update sink in, you know, you've read through the lore and everything. Are you ready for this one, Arsenix? I don't think the game is. I mean, it's questioning what's going on itself. What was that strange creature? What is that power? Don't mind Patrick Stewart. He's just hamming it up a little bit, all right? Let Patrick be. Well, if you say so. What is the Brotherhood? You, you gotta read the the logbook, man. It's all in the logbook. The game doesn't actually present you with the story in a cutscene, see? That's what's revolutionary about this one. You have to actually read the lore. I don't think you've shown me all the lore yet. I've shown you all that we've acquired, but don't worry. This, this stage is jam-packed full of awesome little tidbits that we're gonna just... It's gonna blow your mind, man. The story in this game, as you've undoubtedly read in the thread, is just... It's, it's absolutely amazing. If you say so, I'll take your word for it. Thank you, thank you. You're going to be doing that a lot in this in this uh, Let's Play, I think. Also to point out, you're going to be seeing a lot of these guys laying around the levels. Um, I think it was Cooley who did the first LP of this on the uh, on SA pointed out that they're kind of like the red shirts from Star Trek, and that's I think that's a pretty pretty good <laughs> description of these guys. I'm sorry, I was distracted by the fact that the game really wanted you to know you could climb on that ledge. Well, it's an important thing. I think you figure it out yourself. Oh no, absolutely not. You see a flashing edge there, I mean, it's, it's you want to stay away, naturally. Huh, what's this burning <laughs> object? <laughs> Gabriel Belmont, he's, he's not too bright. Hey, can you give that back to us? We really want it. Well... Oh, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, there are creatures in the universe that are dumber than Gabriel. These <laughs> goblins are a good example of that. And once again, the tutorial section basically never ends in this first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Success! You threw a grenade back at the enemy! Exactly. Um, these goblins, very dumb. Uh, they throw grenades at you, number one. If they hit you with it, it'll explode on contact. But if they miss, then it'll just roll on the ground and you can throw it back at them. Mm -hmm. um, when you pick it up, it auto-aims where you throw it, unless you're holding a certain direction on the uh, control stick. So you can kind of pick where you want to throw it at. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you over the constant blood gushing going on here. Well, that's, well it's, it's got nice, you know, <laughs> Lucas sound going on here. THX quality, man. I think I see the gimmick to this level. Really? Are you sure? I, I'm pretty positive. I mean, there, there's been like no on-screen text to, I mean, spell it out for you. You, you. you really sure you can figure this out? Success! You can <laughs> guess the level gimmick! <laughs> I was so waiting for something like that to pop up, but sadly it never did. <laughs> Speaking of the gimmick, uh, this is it right here, okay? The dead bog. Um, as you can see, fairly simple. Two different colors of the bog. The light green is poisonous, as it says. Don't go in it. Simple, yes? Kind of. I would think the light area is where you'd want to go, but apparently not in this game. This works in, like, you know, counter logic. All right, you're going to have to get used to this for uh, Lord's Shadow. <laughs> Take the logical explanation, do the opposite, and you'll be fine. Oh, okay. That doesn't sound like sound game design to me, but sure. It works. It works. Oh, what's this? Well, we don't know yet, see? It's, it's one of those little nifty five-second cutscenes that just completely interrupt the, the, the tense gameplay that we're going through here. By tense, you mean exceedingly slow-paced? Yes, and unfortunately, that's pretty much the main gimmick of this level. Uh, we're going to be crawling through the bog a lot, and it's very slow going. Um, there's also branching paths that you can take here, but they all wind up going to the same area. Um, there's a couple of upgrades that we're going to have to kind of go through all paths just to get, so it's kind of a kind of a tedious thing. More hot bog action, basically. It's like it's bogging down the LP. You get what I mean? Yeah, I get you. We're going to have to avoid jokes like that, or at least try. Come on. Hold what? it together. <laughs> um, another interesting thing is, if you didn't notice in the cutscene and everything else, those hands that come out and grab the goblin. Uh, mm -hmm. In the safe areas of the bog, you'll notice that there's bubbles that pop, that bubble up to the surface and ripples and whatnot. Um, you're safe to move through the bog as long as the water is calm, but if you see the bubbles bubbling up, then, well, that happens. Quick time event. I'm guessing if you fail the quick time event, it's instant death. 
It is instant death, yes. Yes! Uh, you can sneak around to the sides of these things. Really what it wants you to do is it wants you to wait for the, the water to calm back down, which takes a bloody long time, so we're not doing that here. <laughs> the, the quickest way to actually get through it is just to go straight forward and ignore the quick time event. Mm. Since it's, it's incredibly easy just to go ahead and go through it anyway. I'm guessing the poison is instant death as well if you stay in, uh, in it too long. Uh, it's yes, it'll it'll drain your health uh, at a fairly decent pace, but it takes a while. I mean, you can see we already dipped down into it what two or three times there, and we're still at full health. So you have to you actually have to linger in it for quite a while before it'll actually do anything to you. Mm. So there, it's basically this is the the long and drawn out level with not much going on except for quick time events. I don't think I would mind it too much if it wasn't, you know, near the beginning of the game. <laughs> yes, that's that's kind of the the weird choice that I have to, the, the question I have to bring up here. It seems like an odd gimmick here, um, and this is where the left path ends to get back on topic here. So we've got all the upgrades, now we get to go back. It's not a very long trip, and we can take the right path and collect one or two more. This music's very unfitting for what's going on right now. I just want you to know this. But isn't it so, it's it's Spanish orchestra, man. You, you can't beat that. A it sounds so pretty. <laughs> a dramatic orchestra for you having to do the same QTE like five times. Don't question it. It's a reboot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what were you expecting? Bloody tears or something in the bog? Come on. You know, you say that as a joke, but I really wouldn't mind that in the slightest. Actually, well, then you'll be, you'll be, I don't know if you'll be disappointed or moderately impressed in one of the later levels, because they do do some mild callbacks to, uh, to some of the old school tunes. What the hell is that? I'm not really sure. My understanding is that these enemies that are in the water are supposedly, if you read the lore for it, which I can't <laughs> quote it for you or anything, <laughs> but yes, once again, if you want to know anything about what's going on here, you have to read the lore. But they're apparently like female or something down there, and they're whispering to uh, to like the travelers trying to get them to walk into the bog. Hey, if you tired of these QTs too, it's okay. <laughs> Just sink into the bog. It will all be over exactly. Oh my God, this really lasts for a very long time. It does, and it just goes on and on and on. But, as you can see, look at that. Upgrade. And I think this is actually a, uh, a useful one and not just more lore. Bingo. Oh, it's another one of those, like, chips you don't really have to try to get. You just kind of appear. Well, well, you know, he uses the power of prayer and just levitates it up, man. He's got, he's got more than a mustard seed's worth. <laughs> so, in this downtime, I've got some trivia for you. Oh. Number one, those uh, in the last level where we were riding the horse, the, the, the Warcraft horse, mm -hmm. the werewolves that were being ridden by the other werewolves, the wargs, did you know those are actually horse werewolves according to the all-knowing logbook? I did not, and I really do question how that works. I do too, actually. I think a lot of people do, as a matter of fact. Do they? <laughs> I would hope so. I've never seen a werehorse before in any other game, aside from this one. Lords of Shadow, you truly are edgy. I was going to say, I was thinking about the wargs from, like, Symphony of the Night. Right, yeah. I, I never really considered those to be horses either. That explains it. That's that's what they are. You're going through the castle and there's, you know, he just, Dracula likes having werehorses in his entrance hall, I guess. Also, this is a really well-hidden gem. If you're not careful, you can really bypass this one uh, pretty easy. Sorry, we'll wait for you to pick up that life gem before we can actually hurt you. Yeah, so that's actually um, one of the, the things that you can cheese in this game. Anytime you interact with an object or uh, grab a certain thing, all the, all the other enemies will stop attacking you. Even if they're in the middle of their attack animation, they'll, they'll immediately break off and let you finish your, your whatever the hell it is you're doing. Well, you know, the minions of evil are pretty polite. If nothing else, they obey, like, the, the, the turntable code. 
And yes, if you let these guys overwhelm you like this, they can be pretty deadly. Um, later on in this level, we're going to get an upgrade that'll let us grab them from far away. But right now, we have to actually be up close to them, and it can kind of get difficult. I was going to say, I can't even see the grenades they're throwing at you. They come out really fast. Yeah, that's what makes it very difficult. Basically, you just got to keep rolling around, and they'll they'll miss you. Just as long as it doesn't hit you on contact, because there's no way you're probably going to see it coming, for the most part. And once again, wide area attacks rule the day because they cause hit stun to these little minor guys. Hmm. I was going to say, you were, uh, you were relying on the grab a bunch there. Yeah, that's which is actually one of the easier ways to cheese a lot of these, enemy, these smaller enemies, because usually when you grab them, it's instant death. Also, another gimmick in the game that we're only going to use in one level. I'm guessing you have to use those grenades on the tree? Exactly. Hey, in case you forgot what the grenade looked like, here it is again! <laughs> Did you know you could pick up flashing objects? We've only been throwing this in your face since the first level. Wow. <laughs> you know, I kind of didn't believe you when you said this game was so hand -hoardy, If that's the proper term for it. It is. It's, it's as good as any. I didn't know it went to this extreme. Oh, and it's not done yet. It goes all the way through till the, uh... Till the end of the chapter, as a matter of fact. And a little bit, as a matter of fact, into the second chapter. <laughs> I don't want to believe you, but right now I don't really think I have much of a choice. You have no choice. Unless Patrick Stewart says otherwise, I am your only guide. <laughs> oh, more bog! Who knew, right? I can't say how excited I am to see you trog through this. Well, you know, I mean, it, it, they named the level the Dead Bog. I mean, after all, they've got to have, what, like, a good 90% of it just trudging through? <laughs> By dead, I thought they meant, like, zombies or something. I didn't mean, like, I want the person playing this to be dead out of boredom. Oh, don't worry, that comes much later in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, <clears throat> second bit of trivia. Mm. Also, there's something sneaking up on us. My oh my, what could it be? I'm gonna guess it's Hideo Kojima. <laughs> no, it's actually IGA just watching for the shadows. <laughs> Reboot my series, will ya? <laughs> but, um, the daggers that we've got... Once again, if you read the lore, in fact, Kaboom Dragon pointed this out, um, in the hilt of all these daggers, the reason why they're so good at killing, like, unholy creatures, there are saint little tiny bones from saints planted in the hilt. Is this why you hardly ever use them? You don't want those bones to go to waste? Well, they seem to be popping up quite a bit, which, uh, once again, thank you, Kaboom Dragon, they were Sunday mass-produced. <laughs> but, uh, aside from, like, the werewolves and whatnot, they're really not that useful. Uh, they're pretty weak. Mm -hmm. Well... But on the lichens, I mean, they, on, on any kind of a lichen, even the, uh... Not to spoil a whole lot, but the, the big lichen boss of the game, they're extremely useful. Everything else, they suck. <laughs> there's, there's things you want to say for boss fights more than general enemies. True, true, yeah. And you can power them up uh, as well, so it's you can make them stronger, but for the most part, your sub-weapons and whatnot are usually used for uh, like crowd control and stuff like that. Mm. Also, I hope you're ready for another hot little bit of a cutscene action because after we jump down in here oh man this is a 2d side-scrolling adventure action whatever iga said i don't, I don't know but before that <laughs> look at that <laughs> look at that beautifully rendered face <laughs> his face didn't even move he That's had no emotion with that that yeah, is yeah, the yeah. calmest whip swing of them all i need is far greater than yours What's he doing? Forgive me, brother, but I have greater need of your shit. Let me rob your grave now, man. Is, is that really what he's doing? Which is conveniently locked with a thing that uh, my weapon serves as a key for. How nice. <laughs> is this how you unlock <laughs> upgrades? You just rob the graves of your comrades? <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, you're stealing like their shit already. You're, you're stealing their diaries, their life gems, and all that. So what's a weapon upgrade? Did you just steal the lightning sword from Devil May Cry? The Alistar, I think it's called? Oh no, this this is this is much, much better. 
Now we have more grip points that we can use. <laughs> that, that made that whole presentation a bit underwhelming. In all honesty. We have the ancient art of repelling. Like, even Devil May Cry 4 did make a big deal out of this thing. <laughs> Come on. Look, this we're talking like 1047 here. This is some new advanced shit going on here. Uh, Speaking of which, mini-boss here. Did you know you could jump over shockwaves? Here you go! The tutorials never end. But what's that? He's got a tombstone? Fuck that shit. Block it with your arm. Gotta say that is pretty badass. The blocking animation is pretty good, I gotta say, and it's the uh, the sync block is done really well. Every time you sync block an enemy, it stuns him, as you see. Mm -hmm. You damage this guy enough where he uh, pounds the ground with that tombstone enough, it will break, which he proceeds to go grab another one. <laughs> Simple, yes. Well, I will say there's plenty of tombstones for him to use. Um, when he's unarmed... He does a lot less damage, and it's all hand-to-hand, -hand, and that's about the gist of it right there. He has a grab attack where if you get really close, mm. he'll uh, snag you up and it'll instigate a, uh, a quick time event. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> um, the interesting thing about it is, though, is that if he grabs you and you complete the quick time event, uh, it doesn't actually do any damage to you, but will instead damage him, so go figure. Did we just travel through time? What, what's we did, happening? we did. Chip, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this guy, is, it's fairly easy. Uh, you don't want to get too close to him, oddly enough, while he's picking up the tombstone, for whatever reason, because that will knock you down, which makes no sense at all. I was gonna ask, what the hell hit you there? Nothing, he, he, it's just he picked the tombstone out of the ground with such force that it just <laughs> threw Gabriel to the ground. I'm gonna say, now that you're fighting the boss this way, this looks stupidly easy. It is. Uh, you can abuse the, uh, the sink block and everything to make basically any boss fight just incredibly easy. You say that as you're whipping him from a distance to death. Well, I wanted to mix it up here. I mean, we've only got so many moves here. It's not like the same square, square, square thing works again. Also, he's flashing, so fuck it. Quick time! Now we're just gonna melee the living shit out of a giant cave troll. Nice. What are you? Are you ripping its tonsils out? What the hell is that? Amateur dentistry, you know, all of these are little endeavors that Gabriel has undertook. Well, that's a starting trial for all Belmonts. Can you get the mola? Then you can beat Dracula. Yes, you have more daggers that you never <laughs> use. Yeah, exactly. Um. I guess I should probably note about the uh, the shockwave attack that he was doing. Mm. It's unblockable, and it will knock you down and damage you, so basically you have no choice but to jump over it. Uh, but oddly enough, if you're close enough, you can sync block the attack that causes the shockwave. Mm. And that actually plays a part in uh, a couple of the boss battles, actually. Because later on, these guys, they don't have these massive call signs to their attacks or anything like that. And you have very little time to dodge. So my one bit of advice would be, master the sync block. What, what the hell's happening here? We're admiring the beautifully rendered background. Where, where is he? <laughs> I, I don't see Gabriel anywhere. No, that, that's what I'm saying. We're admiring the beautifully rendered background with, you know, minuscule Gabriel there just soaking it all in. Oh, okay. Plus, you know, platforming now. <laughs> In case you forgot, we can grab glowing uh, ledges there and hang on them. Jesus Christ! How dumb does this game think you are? <laughs> In case the, uh, the crumbling ledge there wasn't enough of a clue that it was going to collapse, you know, move away now. Success! You moved away from an obviously collapsing ledge! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the hand-holding knows no bounds. Holy shit, what? Are you summoning Sauron? What's going on? <laughs> that is actually how you increase your life. You give a little prayer to God, you levitate gems into your hand, and voila. Wow, that was really dramatic. <laughs> yes, for not even a quarter of a life upgrade, absolutely. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was pretty minimal. It was. 
keep in mind that there's there's that's five down with twenty five more to go. So we've we've got a long way. Twenty five. Yes, twenty five, and those aren't the only ones. There's weapons later on that you have to collect those gems for as well. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I don't even see how you can have that many health upgrades in a game. Oh, you will. You will, trust me. Also, another nifty function of the uh, the whip upgrade that we got there, you can swing back and forth like that. Hmm. This is abused to no end in Chapter 2. In a good or bad way? Both. <laughs> Mostly bad, but both. Anyway, this is about the end of it, man. We're, we're, we're coming up to this, this nifty temple thing here, and it's... Man, oh man. The, the plot thickens that we still know nothing about. <laughs> we, we killed a swamp troll and stole a shit. I guess that's something. We got a missile... Up, I mean, dagger upgrade, I guess. <laughs> well, you know, it's the little things in life. Plus, we have 780 experience, so oh yeah. Anyway, man, I appreciate you for joining me for this. Again. Well, thank you for having me, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, you know, within the next couple of updates, we'll actually get some of the story lined out for us, but I, I wouldn't hold my breath. Uh, trust me, I'm not holding my breath for anything involving this game. Just keep in mind one key point, okay? And this, mm. is, this is, like, crucial. Okay. If Patrick Stewart didn't say it, doesn't mean shit. Okay. Well, hardly anyone else has talked throughout the game. <laughs> Like the horse said more than Gabriel has so far. Oh, don't worry. There, don't worry. There's Gabriel doesn't. He's the strong, silent type. There's a mute girl that outspeaks us later on, so it's it's all good. <laughs> what? <laughs> it will make sense. Spoilers. I don't believe you, but fine. <laughs> Catch y'all next time. Bye.